Okay, we have a 41-year-old male who is as orange as an NBA game ball. Who can tell me why? I got an idea. Yeah, I got an idea, too. If you want to work, let's stop paying for the room so you can go home. Then you can come back and get paid to work. Sir, I just need a break from the baby. Mr. Meliason might be a vegetarian. He's always eating carrots. But carotene, like jaundice, turns you yellow, just like certain blood disorders turn you blue, and tomatoes can turn you red. Sadly, there isn't anything on God's green earth that turns you orange. Maybe he got freaky with some Cheetos. Swing and a miss, Webster. Next. Maybe he used some fake tan cream. He used it once, turned me orange all over. There were no foreign substances found on his skin, but kudos, Keith, on finally outing yourself. Lead. I can't get Carla to leave this place. Yeah, I don't really give a rat's due to make her turk. Why does she hate me? Don't say hate, Gandhi. You kids throw that word around so much, it's lost to all of its meaning. Now, now I have to find a word stronger than hate to describe how I feel about others. Mm-hmm. I mega loathe you all. Good day. Around here, sometimes you do wish it was more like TV. And a bigger-than-life character like House would just show up and conveniently solve everything. Ah, uh, yes. The huddled masses. Carla! I see you're trying one of this establishment's disgusting new tomato muffins. Do you know who else just loved tomatoes? Our little orange friend, Mr. Meliason. As you correctly pointed out, the only thing he loved more than tomatoes were carrots. And if carrots turn you yellow and tomatoes turn you red, what color would he most likely turn if he were to gorge himself on both those items? Orange. Correct. And Gandhi, I understand that you are confused as to why private practice Barbie has a beef with you and your scrawny little life partner. Kelso's the one being the jerk, not us. Yes, but even though that horny old raisin is acting like an ass in doing so, He's actually acknowledging that she's ready to move on professionally. Guess who hasn't acknowledged that? Nothing's going to change but your lab coat. He's right. I mean, lately, all this great stuff's been happening to you guys. You're settling down and having babies. Dear God, Barbie, we get the point. This this would roughly be my time. Now, as far as your patient is concerned, Takasubo cardiomyopathy. You ever heard of it? I haven't. Tokusubo cardiomyopathy, also known as broken heart syndrome, is when a severe emotional trauma triggers a weakening of the heart muscle. On her chart, you indicated that she was single, yet I noticed she was still wearing her wedding ring. Turns out her husband had just died, and she wasn't ready to take the ring off yet. I'm betting that her grief over his passing is what caused her heart failure. And no, no, I'm, I'm not Superman. I'm just Dr. Cox.